I took that, sold that, flipped that, and then put the down payment on my crib I got right now. So you feel me? Like that that's just been the progression. Are you listening? Yeah. Are you listening to what he just said? You might have to rewind it on your YouTube channel. Are yeah. you listening to what he just said? Ryan brings the ball back down and now down he goes. Gotcha. What's up, guys? I am so excited today because today you have Chalk Talk Episode 4. It's going to be exciting. We got some great topics. We got a special guest. Let's get it. Chalk Talk Episode 4. Got my man Josh Ute, pass rusher for the New England Patriots. One of the best pass rushers in the league. You here now, one of the best pass rushers in the league. My man Josh Uche, welcome to the show, bro. Glad to have you, brother. Appreciate you. Glad to have you. I bro. see you dripped out. I see you. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying, I to, get like, I'm trying to get like you, bro. I see you. I love, love it, song, dog. You know I love the style. Love, yeah, with the. I love the style, bro. How you living, though? How you feel? I'm good, bro. I'm blessed, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, for us to be in this position to be talking about, you know, fashion, you know, is a privilege. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not something that everybody get to do. So, bro, I'm just, I'm blessed right now, bro. Glad to have you on the show, man. Like, I, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad you was able to come on the show and uh, talk to us about, you know, fashion, talk to us about other topics we got going today. It's an honor to kind of get the, the brothers in the locker room, you know, along with other people I'm going to interview, you know, just to come on the show and just to hang out and just to talk, man, just to have brother talk, mm -hmm. just to have men talk, just to, you know, bond as men. You know, this is like, I, I call this like, this is like, I was telling Cam, like, this is like, you know, our therapy. Yeah. This is like therapy to us. You know, we go through so much in between the walls of playing football, a lot of stress. A lot of family situations and just to, you know, have you on the show, have a lot of other guys on the show that I had and guys coming forward, you know, mm -hmm. it's a blessing, man. So I'm glad you was able to come to the show. But sure. start off, man, you know, I got some questions for you. You know, we're going to go ahead and get into it right now, man. I love sure. your fit, though. I love your fit. You're looking Appreciate real swaggy it, right now. Appreciate real it, Real swaggy, real <laughs> swaggy. Hey, feeling good. So uh, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to start off, I'm going to start off with a, with, a, with a question with you. Explain to the viewers, the people who's watching, you know, explain to me also, you know, how do you get dressed on game day? Explain to us. How do you get dressed on game day? So on game day, I kind of, you know, I wake up. I like to, I like to get some music going, you know, whether it be some Jeezy, some Kodak, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. You know, then I take my time, you know what I'm saying? I have the fit already laid out, right? I have it laid out on my bed. Kind of like, you know, first day of high school, first day of middle school, whatever. And, you know, you got the outfit and I'm just, I'll look at it a couple times, do whatever else I got to do, stretch, whatever, and come back, you know, throw the pants on. Boom, check it out, make sure it's clean. Then so, I, so question for you. I got a question for you. So do you get dressed with your pants first, your shirt, your shoes? Your, I know some people, like Juju, yeah. he was on the show. Yeah. He said he get dressed with his pants first. Right. I know me, I probably got to pick some pants out too, you know, to get dressed first too. So explain to us, like, how you get dressed first. Is it pants? Yeah. Is it glasses? Like, explain. I'll def I, I go pants. I'll definitely say yeah. pants, and then that'll kind of set, you know. It's the main piece usually the sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it'll set the tempo. 100%. And then after that, I'll kind of build off of that. Sometimes I go shoes just to, you know, bottom up, whatever you, you know, you may call it. Then I throw the top on it, you know, to finish everything. So you definitely looking real swaggy with these pants. Yeah, I'm gonna man. go ahead and give you your flowers right now. For sure. You definitely you, looking real swaggy with them. Appreciate all. it. Appreciate so it. another thing, like, what's your favorite brand? Do do you have a brand okay. uh, coming out, or do you have a friend that you wanna, you know, shout out, or you know, do you have a brand like, you know, Prada, Louis Dior? Like, explain to us what's your favorite brand. I mean, yeah, right now my, my favorite brand that's kind of, you know, of the, uh, you know, in retail and stuff like that is Rude. I love Rude. I kind of love Shout out the, to Rude. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Rude. Yeah, you yeah. know, mess with your boy, holla yeah. at me, all that good stuff. <laughs> mess with him, Rude, for sure. <laughs> shout out to Rude, for sure. Yeah, but, um, you know, aside from Rude, um, you know, my friends are actually working on a little brand right now called yeah. Waymakers. So, mm -hmm. you know, actually, we'll need some of your feedback yeah. on, you know, some designs and stuff because we still in the works, you know what I'm saying? We still working our way up to all that, but. You know, that's that's on the come up soon. So. Definitely got to see that. I definitely got to see about that. And if you have any website, you know, here, or, you know, later on, if you want to give the fans and, and, and the bills, you know, yeah. feel free. Feel yeah. free. For sure. For sure. Stay so, tuned. Stay tuned. So how did you get into fashion? I know a lot of mm -hmm. athletes, like, we want to get the... We want to get the the uh, the pitcher coming into the facility. Yeah. We want to get that pitcher because we got helmets on all day. Oh, you know, yes, you know, cracking right. heads each and every each and every play. Yeah. But you know, like, how do you get into fashion? Like, like, what made you? You know, coming from you know, 
Miami. You live in, from Miami, but you went to Michigan. You yeah. know, shout out to Michigan. You shout went to Michigan. Michigan. Yes, you know, shout out to the 305 Dade County. Miami. But, you know, shout out to the 305. <laughs> you know what it is. Crib, shout out to the 305. Crib. Yes, sir. But you went to Michigan and you came to, you got drafted to New England. Mm-hmm. So how did you get into fashion? Did that start in high school, mm-hmm. college? I really, when I first got to New England, you know, I really saw you take off, you know, and then I, 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 you was always asking me, like, you know, like some ideas and stuff. And I was just like, yeah. man, go with your, like, confidence. Yeah. Like, fashion is all about confidence. Don't sure. don't, don't worry about what nobody else got to say. If you want to wear, you know, a, a skirt look, like, because you swagging like that, I'll, do it. Ooh. It's your, if you want to wear your hair pink, that's you. As yeah. long as you know how you rocking, that's all that matters. Mm-hmm. So explain to the fans, like, what made you get into fashion? Man, pretty much, I had to say it was, it was my pops, you know, my dad, you know, growing up. Shout you know, out to Pops. Shout out to Pops, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, the Nigerian, you yeah. know, head of the household, all that. Um, you know, but Sundays, bro, church, mandatory. Mm-hmm. And uh, my dad was, uh, he, he, he had us looking sharp, bro. Suits, you know, fresh cut, <laughs> church shoes, all that. So it was to the nines, man. Yeah. He, he took it very yeah. seriously. Presentation yeah. is everything to my dad. So, you know, from there, like, you know, you hit middle school, high school. You know, being from Miami, a lot of my friends were really into the fashion scene and kind of what was going on. So... You know, started from shoes. Well, you know, start trading, trying to get shoes to, you know, go with our outfits mm-hmm. now. And then from there, bro, just, yeah, like, it kind of became something that it's like a reflection of, like, mental health for me sometimes. Like, it feel good a little Respect. bit to, like, you know, like prime time, say, look good, feel good, play yeah. good. You hey, know what I mean? You so, play good, they pay good. Hey, Hello. Hey, shout, shout out to prime, <laughs> bro, for real, for real, bro. Yeah. Um, so, you know, playing football, that, that was always a part of it, man. You had to look good to feel, you know. Look good, feel good, play good, and I feel like you could take that on in, into real life too, yeah. bro. Like in anything you do, presentation is everything. Yeah, respect. So what I'm hearing, you know, it started from the Nigerian, the dad, the head of the household. Shout out to my Nigerians out there. Shout out to all the Nigerians out there. Sure. Afro Beaks, I love Afro Beaks. That's <laughs> one of my favorite. One of that's that's sure. my favorite wave right now. Afro Beaks. So shout out to uh, the Nigerians and shout out to Afro Beaks. Sure. So explain to me, explain to me, because I want to know. You know, I want to know Josh Uche off the field. You know, I know Josh Uche on the field, and I know a little, little bit about you off the field, but explain to, to the folks, like, something they don't know about Josh Uche. Like, mm. like what we don't know about Josh. I see you, you know, you be posting little pictures on your story of food. I don't know if you're cooking <laughs> it. I don't know if your lady cooking it, so I don't know who's yeah. cooking it. So explain to, explain to, to the folks something they don't know about Josh Uche. Man. Besides Josh Uche going to get a sack. For explain sure. to something, explain to him. Um, I don't, you know, I'm somebody who, you know, I'm kind of laid back, man. Like, I like to chill. I like to conversate. Like, I like to, I like to learn mainly. You know, uh, my dad being an architect, my mom being a teacher. It's always information being, you know, thrown around. I, I love, you know, love information. Um, but I love, like, you know, nature, outdoors and stuff like that. And I love cars, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely, you know, grew up a big fan of cars. And so those are some of my hobbies. For real, so. Yeah, I was just, uh, I'm going to go ahead and piggyback off a story. Josh Uche, you know, he, my man, you know, when I first got to New England in 2021, came from the Miami Dolphins, signed to New England free agency, and I met Josh. I kind of already knew him because, you know, we had the same agent, you know, at the time. You know, but I kind of already knew him. I kind of, people already spoke highly of him and stuff like that. But, man, uh, just seeing Josh, like, game take off. Like, just seeing Josh, like, just just stay grounded. And, you know, it was times like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and share this story if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. Like, Josh would get frustrated. Like, Josh would get, you know, as we are, we are. Not just Josh, me and including a hundred, a million other athletes. Mm -hmm. You know, we get frustrated when things not, you know, when we know where it's supposed to be, but it's not there yet. Mm -hmm. God's telling you to wait, be patient. I'm gonna take you somewhere greater. Mm -hmm. I got you, I'm gonna take you there, but you're not ready yet. Mm -hmm. And I think like that was going on with you when you, when I first, when I first met you and to see you last year, man, like just take off. What, 11, 12 sacks, like just take off. And it's not even about the sacks, but it's about, he was locked in attention to details. He was locked in attention to details. He was working on his craft, staying late, being in there early, like working on his footsteps on pass rush. And I'm, I'm still seeing it today. So, I mean, you know, shout out to you, man. Shout out to you for having a big year last year. And I know you're going to do the same this year. You know, we're still early on in the year, but I know you're going to do the same this year because you work hard and you want it. And I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to be your teammate. I'm glad to be your brother. I'm glad to be all that, man. I appreciate right. you for coming on the show. Right. We ain't done yet. We're still chopping it up. But I just wanted to share that knowledge with, with you, yourself, and I want to share that knowledge with the viewers. That's real, bro. I appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you, bro. So, you know, we got Dame Dollar. Dame Dollar. Dame Dollar. He's he's going to Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. He's going to Milwaukee. You know, you know we're in, we in uh, Foxborough, Boston. You we know, are, so, you know so we... Uh, you know, it's the home team, the Celtics, you know, uh, yeah. kind of, you know, uh, got lost in the Eastern Conference Finals last year. 
to the Miami Heat. Uh, you know, Miami Heat's a great team. Shout out to the Miami Heat. They are, they are a great team, too. Jimmy yeah. Butler, always getting buckets. You know, Bam out of bottle. You know, he's a great player, too. Yeah. You know, shout out, shout out to those boys down there, too, in the 305. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dame is going to Milwaukee. How do you feel about that? Man, I feel like... Damon stayed down long enough with you know with the Trailblazers to kind of he, so right? he was so loyal, he was so bro. loyal, and, and, and you gotta reward yeah. him by letting him kind of do yeah. his thing, bro. Yeah. You know, you see all these other superstars uh -huh. kind of you know getting that that ring finally, and mm -hmm. you know, look, I ain't knocking them, bro, by any means, and I feel like it's gonna be a great combination, yeah. you know, between. Between uh, you know, Anthony DeCupo and and, and Dame, Dame, Damian yeah. Lillard, man. So. Always been a big fan of Damian Lillard, man. Like Uche said, he's been so loyal to the city of uh, Portland, man. Like he's been so loyal, he stayed down, you know. But at the end of the day, like you know, you know, it was it was time for a change. It was time for a change. You know, he's a he's a great player. You know, a Hall of Famer in my books, I think. Uh, you know, so it was time for him. Like he want to chase. He want he, he want to get a ring. You know, Giannis yeah. needs some more help. You know, sorry he had to use, lose Drew Holiday, but I hope Drew Holiday come to the Celtics from what I'm hearing. Mm. But uh, you know, Dame Dame is a great player. You know, uh, so it's gonna it's gonna be good to see them work out in the East. is so stacked. I mean, you still got you know Embiid with Harden, and you know Philly. You still yeah. got you got these boys down the street who's Hoopers, Tatum and uh, uh, Brown, and yes. uh, along with the other guys. I'm a big Al Horford fan. Shout out to Al Horford. Shout out you to know, Al Hoffer, you got so many ballers in the in the East, mm -hmm. and so it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be great to see, man. You know, but I think Milwaukee gonna make some noise, man. Yeah. I would love to see, you know, I would love to see the Celtics in the in, in the finals, of course. But I would love to see Milwaukee, Dame and uh, Giannis versus. Cool. Uh, uh, Golden um, State. My guy from Denver, uh, Jokic. Oh, Joke, Jokic. Jokic and uh, Murray. Damn. I mean, that'll be a, that'll be a. Oof. Oh, I don't think they, that, they found the answer yet. Yeah, for, I don't think they found the answer. Arguably bro. the best player in the NBA. If you said Jokic was the best player in the NBA, I can't argue with you. Nah. I can't argue with nobody. Like he's mm -hmm. that unstoppable. But we're gonna piggyback to something else, man. We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna take it to another topic. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about financial literacy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about that, man. And, and the reason why I wanted to dive into that. It's because it's so many people, you know, where I come from, you know, uh, you know, mama raised six kids on her own. Shout out to mama, you know, baby strong woman. Shout out to mom. Love you. Mom. Uh, raised six kids on her own, man. And, you know, it, it was tough. It was, you know, in the, in the household, it was tough. Mm -hmm. And when I made it, you know, first of all, I went to LSU, took my puppy steps, went to LSU, grinded over there for three years, got drafted. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here. But when I made it, like when you make it to the lead, mm -hmm. financial literacy. When you make it to the lead, everybody thinks you got it. Oh, I, he made it. He all the way did. Yeah, he said <laughs> he forever. He made it. Yeah. And yeah. it's not the case. Because yeah. uh -uh. you ain't making it until you get that second, that third contract. That's making it. That's making it. Building wealth and stacking wealth, investments and all that. Mm -hmm. So when I made it, everybody wanted some bread. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it ain't what you think. I'm, mm -hmm. a, I'm a fifth round draft pick. You know, I can't, I can't remember what round you were, but I'm a fifth round draft pick. Mm -hmm. You know, 178. I got it tatted yeah, on me tatted right here. Yes, fifth sir. round pick, 178. Got it tatted on me to daily motivation to yes. never get complacent and never get comfortable in this NFL. Never get complacent, never get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Those two things in the NFL, if you get complacent and you get comfortable, you will be out this lead in a minute. Am I, nah, am facts, I right? That's fact. You'll bro. be out this lead in a minute. Facts. Consistency is what is is what keeps you in this league. Mm -hmm. Being consistent, day in and day out, being the same person and and up upgrading your stand, standards each and every day, mm -hmm. each and every day. But when when I made it, everybody was like, "Oh man, like let me hold some," mm -hmm. and it's not that. We got say like for instance, I signed for a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, half a million of that. <laughs> Taxes, taxes <laughs> you know, stuff. another part of that, agent fees, yeah, yeah. another part of that, got to find houses to somewhere to live at in, right. the, in, the, in the city that I get drafted in. And let's not, so I'm already probably down to, okay, half yeah. of that 500 taxes, agent fees, okay, I'm probably down to like, okay, let's yeah, say I'm probably down to like probably about, about, about what, probably about uh, 430, I'm, just say I'm 430, 70,000 agent fees. Okay. I'm down to 430. And then we talking about somewhere to live at. Yeah. So I'm really right, probably down about three hundred. Down, yeah. You know, three hundred. You know, I'm probably down three hundred. And, and I and I'm talking about if I got kids and food, all food that, and all that. You see, I'm about that, and transportation. All of that, bro. So, yeah. so talk to me about what you did and talk to like 
like young college athletes coming out of college, like, you know, I went to LSU or uh, uh, Michigan mm-hmm. or, you know, anywhere. Talk to guys about what you did to survive. Because I see you take care of your money. Like, 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 I, like I watch you closely. You take care of your money. Like, okay, like you, you get fashion, you get drip, but you ain't, you ain't blowing your money on that. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you do hidden, hid, hidden pieces from here and there. Mm-hmm. But explain to rookies and explain to guys coming out of college okay. what you did when you came in the league. Man, so I'm, I'm, I appreciate you, yeah. you know, give me, you know, the credit for being responsible, yeah. but it wasn't always like that. Um, <laughs> you know, in all honesty, you know, when I, when I first got drafted, you know, even on draft, I had this, you know, bust down Cuban link, you know, chain and I, you know, being from Miami, that's like, you know, a big trophy. If you everybody will. want Cuban links. You if know, you don't know, everybody want Cuban links in Miami. I'm just leaving that there. You, know, you got the flow. Yeah. So, um, I think early on, I kind of, th- I was still on that immature mindset mm-hmm. of, okay, like I want to the diamonds and you know nothing wrong with diamonds or bust not you know nothing wrong with that but um i saw opportunity during covid where there was this uh, ap this uh gold ap blue dial and i was able to take that chain and take it to the jeweler get credit and go get the ap cuz i knew the ap was all gold and you know it holds its value better right yeah. but still it's a watch so it's still yeah. something you know people would think okay it's just to look good or flex or whatever yeah. but you know a uh, couple months after you know people kind of kept track you know the watch market went up and that AP that I got for that low COVID. price, yeah, <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Did. I took that, sold that, flipped that, and then put the down payment on my crib I got right now. So, you feel me? Like, that, that's just been the progression. Are you listening? Yeah. Are you listening to <laughs> what he just said? You might have to rewind it on your YouTube channel. Are yeah. you listening to what he just said? He didn't say he kept the chain and brought it to watch. He said yeah. he took the chain, the Cuban link, which yeah. was hot, which is still hot, yeah. Traded it in and went and got the watch. And then we, when he got done with the watch, yeah. you traded it in and put a down payment on your what? On my house. Okay, on your what? On my house, man. Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you man. go. <laughs> For all my people who want to have 30 chains and want to have 30 watches, you heard what Josh Uche just said. Financial literacy. Yeah. You heard what he just said. Yeah. Literally. He took the watch and put the down payment on his house exactly. so he could have a roof over his head. I know a lot of people who got a lot of watches, a lot of chains, but ain't got a house. Got a house. Ain't that crazy? It's crazy. I mean, well, I, I'm not even one to knock because, look, everyone's different. Everyone yep. has their taste. Everyone has their vices. You know what I mean? But, but Uche. I, I understand. I know what you're a saying. A house, though. Look, I know. I know. Like, you know, that's what my man was talking about on Baby Boy when he was talking about stocks <laughs> gu- and bonds, guns and butter. Yeah. That's what he was talking about. Exactly. He was, guns and butter. Yeah. And people pick what are the guns? What are the butter? Yeah, that's what it's exactly like. I, I always make fun of that movie, but I never knew what he was talking about when he guns and butter, the real estate, the yeah. stock market, it's gonna hold and true, all that. It hold back like your watch hold value. Plain Jane, plain you took that, Jane, you took that Cuban link chain, traded in, got a plain Jane AP. Yes. The AP you didn't want it for too long. Okay, cool. Boom. I need a house. Boom. Trade this in instead of spending my money on my bank. I'm gonna trade this in. I'm gonna go get a house. Yeah. Like that's smart move. Like that's that's people that's move. People need to hear that. That's mm-hmm. smart because the the average person, what he gonna do is I'm gonna keep my Cuban, and I'm gonna keep my AP, but I might not have a house. Exactly. Or I'm gonna keep my Cuban, I'm gonna keep my AP, and I'm gonna go buy a house. What you can't do, like you said, we're not knocking that can't at knock all. Yeah. We're not knocking that. But he was like, okay, cool. I get AP later on in life. You know, my man out here, twelve sacks last year. You know, so you know, God say the same. He keep doing the same thing with with good health. With you know, with, with God willing. Yeah. He took the AP, traded it in, and went and got a house. So, man, I'm I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. I'm 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 explain that story to somebody else. I'm happy to hear that, man. That's that's Appreciate I'm it, happy bro. to hear that. Appreciate I'm it. I'm happy to hear that. But man, I'm 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 happy to have you on the show, man. I'm 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 happy to the to, to chop up the talk with you, man, and just you know, like just seeing you grow, like it amazed me, man, because like we all need to check in with our brothers when it comes to our mental aspects. Mm -hmm. So I'm so happy you're doing good, man. I'm so happy to see you take off from here and go here. And you're going to stay here because I see the work you put in. Like, you know, like sex, you know, like everybody wants the sex, but, you know, everybody's not going to get the sex. But sex is not going to be the reason going to make you or break you because you self-made. You self-made. And I love it, man. Just keep being you. Keep being yourself. Keep being real to yourself. If I could leave you with one thing leaving the show today, keep being real to yourself. Keep being real. Follow yourself. Follow your heart. Don't be a follower. Be a leader, man. Like you just, just I, I, I see it in you. I see what you're doing. You know, I see you learning from you know one of the best pass rushers in the league, and Matthew Judon. I see you learn. 
So keep doing it, man. Keep doing it and keep staying true to yourself and, you know, God's going to take care of the rest. Amen. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Appreciate yeah, it, bro. Appreciate you Thank you. Me, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate you having me, bro. Big shout out to Josh Uche for coming through, man, and sharing his love, man. Always come through with crazy drip. Really had a great conversation with you. Energy always amazing. Next up, come check out my drip for week four. Let's go. But before we do that, I'm gonna bring out the chrome hard gloves that I'm gonna pair with my game day fit and my travel fit. So here I got a Bottega jacket, khaki jacket, plain jacket, but that's why I like it. Like I said before, I don't really like too much monogram stuff over my clothes. Really love the jacket, giving me great vibes, kind of giving me the schoolboy vibe. You got your buttons in the back if you want to tighten the jacket up, which is really dope, you know. Ain't really much on the jacket, but I like it. Plain Jane, that's me all day. Pair that with, this is my travel day fit now. Pair that, pair that with a double-breasted red suit for my man Raul in Miami. He's from Puerto Rico. Shout out, shout out to Raul for making all my suits. But what's special about this suit is you get to see the details in the suit with chart on try down logo with the Scorpio. You get to see that in the suit. You know, I'm always rocking my logo somewhere on me, believe it or not, whether it's in my clothes or whether it's on my hand all the time. So that's pretty dope. I really love this suit. You also got my name in the suit, the villain got you right there. So always does a great job when you're doing my suit. It's all about the details. All about the details. Now it's time for me to show you my game day fit. First, I'm gonna pull out the Givenchy vest. I really love this vest because one, it's leather. Two, you know, sometimes I'll be traveling with a lot of stuff in my pockets. So I got the pockets on the, on the vest where I can also put things in there. You know, anything I'm carrying that I don't want to have in my pockets, I can put in the vest. One of, one of the first pieces that I got from Matthew Williams when he started with Givenchy. So that was really dope. It's a piece that I hold dear to my heart. It's a piece that I first got when I first started rocking Givenchy. Shout out to Cat in Miami, my girl who I shop with. Appreciate you. It's really a dope piece. Next up, some simple, some vintage. You know, being from Louisiana, we always grew up a huge juvenile fan, huge hot boy fan. So you got a juvenile 400 degrees t-shirt that's really dope that I'm gonna spoil with the Givenchy vest. Cash money records on the back. You know, hot boys, me and my brothers, we grew up on them. So <laughs> hot boys, no limit. We always loved them being from Louisiana. So next up, pair that with some flare bottom corduroy, corduroy pants, Rick Owens. You know, Rick is probably, you know, top three designer for me. You know, uh, Rick is always special with black. You know, black is probably the only color Rick does a lot of stuff in. You know, he started doing different colors, but black is really his main color. So it's going to be a really dope fit. Last but not least, you know, I got to go with the Rick Owens yellow shoes. Never been worn. First time wearing them clean at the bottom, gonna be a dope fit to pair with the 99 to the 2400 degrees juvenile t-shirt. Gonna be a dope fit, gonna be really street fit, street wear, kinda like feeling myself in my element type fit. You seen my fit for week four, now it's time for you to see me get dressed. Let's go. Now that you've seen my week four game day fit, I'm gonna give you my top five best dressed players for week four around the NFL. Let's go. Thank you guys for tuning in to Chow Talk episode four. I wanna give a big shout out to my man, Josh Uche for coming through. The energy was electric. The Chow Talk was electric, it was great. Big shout out to you, my guy. See ya.